Ivan the Younger was a prince of the Rus, and as such, he was a warrior king, which meant he spent most of his time either at war or preparing his troops for the next one. And one day he was coming home, riding from uh, his practice session, and there before the castle gates, two of his guardsmen were talking to this old man. So Ivan rode up and said, what is all this about? <clears throat> and the old man turned to him and said, your majesty, I am but a traveler, but I have been gifted <clears throat> with the gift of prophecy. If you give me a meal and a place to sleep for the night, you may ask me one question about your future and I will give you a true answer. Now, Ivan had heard of such people, and so he ordered his guardsmen to put this man up for the night and feed him and then bring him into my presence. And now Ivan is sitting in his chambers thinking, if I have but one question to ask about my future, what would it be? Something you might consider, if you had to ask such a question, what would you ask? Well, Ivan thought about this, and finally he came to a conclusion. And when the man was brought into his <laughs> presence, he said, this was my question, tell me, how will I die? And the old man closed his eyes in deep thought for a moment, and when he opened them, he said, Your Majesty, you shall not die in battle, nor shall it be of disease, nor shall it be of old age. In fact, the cause of your death shall be a horse, that very animal that I saw you riding upon this day. And Ivan said, Very well, and dismissed the man. And now he thought about this. His first instinct, of course, was to order that horse taken away and killed. But then he thought, amongst the Rus, horses have great value. And for him to give such an order be most unusual. And in fact, his men might start doubting his sanity. And after some thought, he summoned before him his master of horse. And he said, Piotr, that horse I was riding on today had become rather obstreperous and disobedient, and I think I wish to change. It has served me well for a number of years, so I want you to take it far to the north, put it away in one of our pastures. Let it live out its days there. So now he thought no more of it because a few days later, he gathered up his men and rode south to make war upon the Greeks. Two years he was away at war. And now when he came back, of course, there was many things awaiting his attention. And he went from one to the other and, and finally, when talking to his master of horse to get a report of, of uh, all that had been born and all that had been traded during the past two years, it suddenly occurred to him to ask, this, Piotr, tell me, what, whatever happened to that horse that I had you take far to the northern pasture? Is it, is it still there? And Piotr thought for a moment and said, well, Your Majesty, I truly cannot tell you. The, the last two winters have been very harsh. My guess is it is probably dead by now. And Ivan said, very well. That night he went off to bed and the more he thought about it, the more he started wondering. And the more he wondered, the more obsessed he became that I must know. So the next morning, he got his new horse out of the stables and he rode far to the north. And at first he saw nothing but railings and tall grass. But at last he spotted there, out in the field, was the skeleton of a horse with the grass growing up through the bleached bones. So he climbed down and came over the fence and he walked up and he looked down at this pile of bones before him. And then he looked up at the sky and spread his arms and says, oh, you cruel fates, you see, I have, I have bested you. 
You told me this animal would be my death, but there it is, dead before me, and I am still alive. Perhaps now I shall live forever. And to emphasize his point, he kicks the skull of the horse. And there from beneath the skull, there came a serpent, which angry at being disturbed, rose up and bit Ivan above the knee. Now Ivan at once drew out his sword and sliced the, the serpent in twain. But alas, the damage was done. And as he staggered back, he could feel the poison as it came up through his leg and through his privates and up through his bowels, reaching upward towards his heart. And he had taken no more than a few steps backwards when the sword fell from his hand and he fell dead beside it. Now from this story, there are two important things to learn. The first is the fates may be predicted. They may be avoided to some degree. But in the end, they will have their way, and most certainly, they will not be mocked. And the second important thing we must learn is that no good thing shall ever come from beating a dead horse. <laughs> yeah. And that is the tale of Ivan the Younger. <laughs>